Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer Channel episode. On the 13th of September 2018, Clarence House tweeted, This morning, the Prince of Wales visits Hepple Gin Distillery in Morpeth to find out more about the gin created in the Northumbrian Moors. His Royal Highness is shown wild green juniper bushes, which grow on the moor, one of the core ingredients of Heppel Gin. Heppel Gin has developed a sustainable juniper propagation program on the moors. The Prince helps to plant a small juniper tree in the moor surrounding the Heppel Gin distillery. The rejuvenation program plants out at least 200 juniper seedlings each year, all grown from the estate's own seed. During a tour of the distillery, the Prince finds out more about the unique Heppel Gin process, which takes several times longer than other distilleries and uses three separate systems. The Prince tries some of the Heppel Gin developed in the Northumbrian Moors of Heppel. Prince Charles arrives at Alnwick Garden to visit the Elderberries, a drop-in centre that seeks to counteract loneliness in the community. After meeting members and volunteers, the Prince unveiled a plaque to mark the visit. The centre welcomes people over the age of 55 to meet and make new friends play games and catch up on a weekly basis. Afterwards, the Prince attended a garden party at Alnwick Garden, hosted by the Duchess of Northumberland, to recognise and thank the county's carers and volunteers for their contribution to the local community. The Prince met groups of volunteers and spoke to carers from all across Northumberland, invited to Alnwick Garden today. And finally, the Prince made a speech. Gentlemen, I was very touched to have been asked by the Duchess of Northumberland to come to this great event, which I hear is now an annual occasion. And I know my parents came here a few years ago to the first one, and it was such a success that it's become a, a, a wonderful annual operation. So for me, it's been an enormous pleasure to meet, I hope, at least some of you, uh, and to attempt to sit on a chair on a backward-facing slope, <laughs> during which time I spilled a large quantity of my tea. <laughs> but if I may say so, it, it has been such a joy to discover the enormous range of different organizations and charities and all the different things so many of you I know are doing in, in your wonderful way in all your communities. Things that are so often unseen and unheard. And yet this does give an opportunity just to show huge appreciation for all these marvelous things you do. I've been lucky because I've actually managed to, to meet one or two of you who, when I was on duty at the investiture at Buckingham Palace, and one or two of you have been past getting MBEs or OBEs. And there are others of you I know who have particularly good memories and remember me some 40 years ago in some part or other of Northumberland. But for me, coming here to Northumberland, which is such a special county, all I can say is that it makes me unbelievably proud just to see what you're all doing, the contribution you all make, and the way in which you help to keep this county so very
very special by the way you volunteer and by the wonderful connections you make and by the fact that this remarkable place, this garden, which I've been patient now for quite a long time, uh, I know that this whole operation here has made a huge difference to, to the whole area. So I just wanted also to pay my compliments to the Duchess for all the wonderful things she does and for the amazingly good idea she has as what else to do next. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for all you do. <laughs> If you have enjoyed this video, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media, and also hit that notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. So from me in Shropshire, goodbye. <laughs>